T-minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Let's go. Vehicle is pitching downrange. And there is successful liftoff of Falcon 9 carrying our 18th resupply mission uh, on a Dragon spacecraft to the International Space Station. Now we're currently in a what we call the throttle bucket, and that's because in about 30 seconds we have an event called maximum dynamic pressure, or max Q. That's the point where the vehicle, vehicle experiences the highest aerodynamic stresses. Um, so what we do is we bring down the engines a little bit, pass through that point, and then throttle back up once the atmosphere continues to drop off above that point. Vehicle is experiencing maximum aerodynamic pressure. So now we're through that point of maximum dynamic pressure. Now coming up are a series of rapid events, uh, main engine cutoff, then stage separation, followed by second engine start of the second stage is Merlin vacuum engine, and then the first stage is going to conduct a boost back burn, followed by a dragon nose cone deploy. Now main engine cutoff, or MECO, is where all nine Merlin 1D engines on the first stage will shut down. Followed shortly after that is stage separation, and then, a few seconds later, the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will ignite to boost Dragon into low Earth orbit. In fact, uh, during ascent, you heard the call out for engine chill-in of that Merlin vacuum engine. So again, coming up in about 10 seconds, Miko stage separation, second engine start, and then stage one boost back burn. Nico. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Stage one boost back startup. And you can hear the cheers behind me. Uh, that's a, you're looking at a successful start of the Merlin vacuum engine on your right screen and the boost back maneuver on your left hand screen of the first stage. Uh, shortly here, we should have nose cone deploy off of Dragon, uh, and we may be able to see that on the right-hand screen. And there goes the nose cone on that right-hand screen. Uh, we no longer need it now that we're out of the densest parts of the Earth's atmosphere. For those of you just joining, it's T plus four minutes, 55 seconds. And you can see our second stage on its way to drop off Dragon to its targeted orbit on the way to the International Space Station. And on the left-hand side here, you see our Falcon 9 first stage on its way to Cape Canaveral, Florida, landing zone one for a successful landing. Our first stage had an on-time launch at 6.01 p.m. Eastern Standard Both Time just a few minutes ago. Nominal trajectories. We had a nominal ascent an ideal stage separation. We just performed the first of three burns of the first stage, the boost back burn, and we're a little more than a minute away from that second burn, the entry burn.
You can see Cape Canaveral coming into view. In terms of fuel, fuel conservation, we only fire one Merlin engine on this final burn, engine number nine, the center engine. Stage one, entry transonic. Stage one, running break started. Our landing burn has begun. Stage two has entered terminal guidance. You see the landing, landing legs are deploying. Deploy. Falcon and 9 has landed, landing off there is doing procedural loading out 100. And the Falcon has landed. Congratulations to everyone here at SpaceX for another successful landing. For those of you keeping score, this is our 44th successful first stage recovery. This is our secondary mission at SpaceX. It's our commitment to vehicle reusability. Back to our primary mission. So back to our primary mission. Nominal we, orbital insertion. We just had secondary engine cut off, and you just heard the call out for a good orbit. Uh, that's fantastic. That means that Dragon and the second stage are in low Earth orbit around the Earth. Now, the second stage does have one last major task for today's mission, and that's commanding separation of the Dragon spacecraft uh, very shortly from now. We should have video of Dragon separation from the top of the second stage. That's what we're looking at at the moment. Okay, so shortly here, and now that camera view at the top of the second stage that looks into Dragon's unpressurized cargo portion. Uh, there, you can see it. Dragon separation confirmed. Acquisition of signal, Newfoundland. You can hear the cheers this is behind Dragon me. Dragon CC on countdown one, Dragon right. senses it. Separation. Off Dragon goes Thanks for, for its ride. mission to the International Space Station. Uh, the, the Dragon team doing a little handoff with Falcon there. As mentioned previously, Dragon is carrying tons of cargo to the International Space Station on this mission today. A small portion of the cargo represents supplies for the astronauts, things like food and clothing and personal items, uh, but most of the cargo represents science going up to the space station. The ISS serves as the world's leading laboratory where cutting edge research and technology development help enable human and robotic exploration of destinations beyond low Earth orbit, including the moon and even Mars. In about a minute, we'll have our final, final milestone that we'll be covering in today's webcast. It's our solar panel deploy. There are two solar arrays lo located on either side of Dragon's trunk. And at about T plus 12 minutes, they'll begin to unfold almost accordion style over about a minute or two. And they help power Dragon on its several day trip to the International Space Station. This is Dragon CC on Countdown 1. Dragon's propulsion system has successfully primed, and all thrusters report ready for firing. And over the next couple of days on its trip, the next milestone uh, that occurs is opening of the GNC door, the Guidance, Navigation, and Control door. Uh, there are various sensitive components that can't be exposed to the atmosphere uh, during liftoff that help navigate and help the Dragon understand where it is on its trip to the space station. That'll occur a couple hours after liftoff but we are about 15 seconds away from solar array deploy. And currently here on the left hand camera, that's, that's what we're watching for solar array deploy. The solar panels are packed right up against that camera view and once they deploy, you'll begin to see them expand and see the rest of our gorgeous view here from Dragon as well. Dragon CC on countdown one. Dragon is deploying its solar arrays. 
And we've heard the call out. You see the expansion there. We've successfully begun to deploy our solar panel arrays, which will occur over the next couple of minutes. Dragon is now on its way to the International Space Station. That's going to take two days to make it to the International Space Station. And over those two days, Dragon will perform a series of orbital height adjust maneuvers with its Draco engines, just until it's a few kilometers away from the International Space Station. Once it's there, it will establish a direct communication link with the International Space Station. And then NASA and SpaceX will perform a series of checks to ensure that Dragon is ready to safely approach. Now that, once we feel confident, we will initiate that slow approach. And there are several checkpoints along the way where we continue to monitor that we can safely get to the International Space Station. Uh, now, when Dragon is about 10 meters away from the space station, we do need a little bit of help from the crew aboard. The astronauts will capture Dragon using the station's robotic Canada arm in a process that's called berthing. Finally, Mission Control in Houston will send commands from the ground for the space station's robotic arm to both rotate and then install Dragon onto the station's Harmony module. Dragon will remain at the space station for about four weeks before it will return to Earth with cargo and research.